Hi, my name is Megan Murphy and I'm the Assistive Technology Specialist here at Sheltering Arms Institute. And today I'm going to give you a little tour of our new My Life Assistive Technology room. So what we're going to be doing is heading into the My Life room and so we're going to be looking at some different technology and gadgets that are going to hopefully help make your life a little bit easier when you get home. So here in the My Life room, we have um, some items that are a little bit lower tech, and then we have some items that are higher tech, um, and all of these things are going to help you function more independently when you get back home. Um, we were able to have all of these items um, donated to us by the Virginia Assistive Technology System, and so we're really thankful for their support in um, getting this room up and running. Um, so a few things that I just wanted to show you that we have today are uh, one, we have this really awesome um, 360 degree swivel tray table, um, which for those of you who have been here as patients, you're gonna know that having a bedside table is really helpful and this one's nice because it can go over your bed and then swing out and be over your wheelchair if you're sitting next to your bed. Um, so this is a really cool option for something that might help you at home. Some of the things we have on this table, um, if you wanna be feeling more connected to your family, if you're having a little bit of a harder time getting out and being social when you first get home, getting a little webcam attached to your computer if your computer doesn't come standard with a webcam so that you can use those apps like Skype and Google Duo and Facebook Messenger to have conversations face-to-face -face with folks. Um, you could also potentially um, be set up with a Facebook portal, which is another way to, again, socially interact, get on the internet, um, get on your Facebook account to connect with people. This table has some of our really cool lower tech options. Um, a cell phone holder stand might be something that's really useful and helpful to keep on your bedside table or at a table near where you're gonna be hanging out so that you have a way um, to not have to hold your phone with one hand and be able to just touch it with your thumb or a knuckle if your hand function isn't what it used to be. Um, and it's weighted so you can't tip it over as easy, which I think is really neat about that. Um, if you have any kind of visual deficits, here's two different options for magnifiers. You can use a magnifier glass or you can put a paper behind the screen. Um, this actually can also go in front of a television screen or a computer screen to help magnify and make what you're looking at easier to see. This little guy who's been following us around, just some options for some uh, safety cameras, security cameras, so that you know who's approaching your home and it may make you feel a little bit safer so that um, you know whether or not to let this individual in if you're home by yourself. So then over here we have some other cool options. Um, one I really want to highlight is the Amazon Echo Show. Um, hey Alexa, turn the light on. Okay. So that's just a really quick demonstration of one of the things that voice control can really help you with. So um, whether if you don't have the ability to use your hands or can't reach um, the light switches, you can set up a light um, to be controlled by your Echo device at home. Or if you've already gotten in bed um, and you want the light turned off or turned back on without having to get up out of bed to go get that light switch, um, you can just ask your friend Alexa to help you with that. Um, Alexa has a lot of other really cool features where you can set appointment reminders, medication reminders. Um, it's a great way to access the internet, um, to voice control music, all kinds of things. Um, that's a really um, awesome device. Um, another thing that we have is another kind of um, camera here. This is a ring doorbell camera, um, which can be connected to your smartphone so that you can look at who is coming to your front door or whichever door you choose so that you know whether or not this is somebody you want to let in or not. Um, again, this can be paired with either an intercom so that you can verbally speak with whoever's at the door. If you wanted to add a keypad, you could have a code that if it was somebody you wanted to let in, you could verbally give them that code when they're at the door, or you could also combine this with a smart lock. So if you wanted to let someone in, you could hit another app on your phone that would unlock your door to allow that individual to come into your home. Some other things that we have, um, we have this UV light uh, to help you get some UV rays if you're having trouble accessing the outdoors. 
Um, another device that we have is just a digital day clock to help you keep track of the day and time and what day of the week it is. This is a skylight picture frame, so your loved ones can upload pictures onto an app or send them via email to this picture frame and they'll automatically populate. Um, so this is a really new cool take on a digital picture frame. So those are all of the cool things we have. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the My Life Room today. Um, if you're a patient here and you think any of this equipment might benefit you, please reach out to your care team and they can help you get um, an appointment scheduled to come down and check it out.